Hi, this is Charles. We just released Storyboarder version 1.18 and there's a lot of new features that I want to talk about. So first up, we um, refactor shot generator. So we made it a lot more efficient and so the frame rate should be a lot better, especially on slower computers. Next up, we added hand pose presets. So if you click on a character in shot generator, you can set the hand pose to really whatever you want. Um, it also works in, in VR, so if you select your character in VR, you can also set the hand pose, whether it's the left or the right hand. Now, another thing that's kind of interesting is if you make a custom hand pose, you can add it as a preset. And the other thing is, is that if you see any hand pose presets that we should have that should be in the default set that we, don't, that we didn't create yet, let us know because we can just add it into the next version. The next thing we did was um, we added a... Uh, ability to group um, objects together. So if you select objects in, in Shot Generator, select you know, the objects that you want by holding the Shift key, and then you press Command or Control G, and that will group them all together, and then you can move them. That doesn't work in v VR yet, but we're working on it. Um, the next thing, which is really big, is the ability to have a HUD. So the HUD in specifically in VR. So like, if you are in VR, and and you click on the controller to the to the right, you click on it, and then basically it'll go into HUD mode. Once you click on that, you'll see this HUD with all the cameras that you have visible up there, and then you can also um, uh, see all the other shot generator shots. So you can switch between the shots, save them, all without like leaving uh, VR, which is really great. And then the last thing we did um, is something called attachables. So you can add a 3D object attached to the bone in the character. So things like mustaches or uh, eyeglasses, backpacks, guns, things like that. The one thing you should know though, is that if you're posing or editing scenes in VR, there's like, it's definitely a disconnect between um, uh, VR and shot generator, and we're working on that. That's the next big thing we're working on, which is uh, a complete refactor of shot generator. So VR and shot generator will be more of very something similar. So we got a bunch of new features coming soon. Um, Let's see, complete refactor of shot generator, multi-users, so multiple headsets in the same scene to lay out scenes. Uh, AR shot generator, um, so the ability to use your, hand, your uh, iPhone or Android phone to be able to um, uh, manipulate shots and be in the world of your, of your shot generator scene instead of using VR. Um, shot explorer, so it will give you a bunch of random shots. Um, ability to import PSD files, so you'll be able to um, if you're working in a bunch of Photoshop files, you can just import a bunch of them and they'll import as, as boards inside of Storyboarder. Um, a big thing which a lot of people are asking for is custom PDF exports. So you'll be able to customize the PDF. So change the font sizes. If you want um, the top down view from Shot Generator, you can include that. Um, if you want to uh, add your own custom logo, things like that. So that'll be quite nice. And the last thing, is a um, complete rewrite of the drawing engine. Drawing engine works well for some people, but not for others. Uh, so we wanna look at um, how we can write it a lot more efficiently. There's a lot of things we can do. So that's the, those are the main things. So I think in the future, I'm gonna um, make at least, hopefully at least a weekly YouTube video where I give you an update on what we're working on in Storyboarder, whether there's a release or not. Um, also, I'll be um, talking about the movie that we're working on and kind of our, our process in which we're making that movie. I think it's kind of interesting. So if you like um, this kind of stuff, um, consider subscribing uh, to the YouTube channel. Um, and also, if you, I think, I really love the comments that I get on YouTube. And so if you could leave a comment, that would be really great, whether it's a question or just that you like this video or that you didn't like this video, that'd be awesome. Um, because I, uh, you know, it, it like makes me feel good when I, when I see that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, anyways, that's about it. Thanks, bye.